All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. Just one day left, okay? Tomorrow is the 5th May, and tomorrow is our final battle. And I know there are a lot of students out there who are texting us, okay, and saying, sir, we are depressed right now. We are having anxiety. But as I have told you before also, this is completely normal, okay? Having anxiety and stress somehow right now is completely normal, okay? You don't have to worry about anything. Means if you are stressed right now because of the exam, you are on the right track. Keep that thing in your mind, okay? So tomorrow is our final battle. We have to show our full aggression. We have to be extremely aggressive. But there are few points, there is a proper strategy which you need to follow in your exam, which is very much mandatory if you want to gain or score the maximum marks. That's the reason over here it's mentioned, killer paper attempting strategy, okay? So in this, by using this particular strategy, definitely it will help you to basically maximize your marks, that's for sure, okay? Let's get into the video, let's not further talk about something else and make sure you like this particular video out there. Now listen to me very carefully. Guys, we say, we say, when it comes to the NEAT 2024 pattern, if we talk about, if we talk about, we say the marking scheme over here. When it comes to the physics, we say, we have got section A, okay, that has got 35 questions. Number of questions is 35. And when it comes to the section B, it has got 10 questions, okay? Okay, so my dear friends, you have got total of 45 uh, questions when it comes to, and total of 180 marks. This is, and you guys know it in the chemistry also, 35 questions in section A, 10, uh, section B, we say we have got 10, okay? 15 will be provided. 10 to be answered, you guys are supposed to basically answer only 10. Same as in case of physics, 15 will be provided, 10 you guys are supposed to answer. Now when it comes to the zoology, same scheme is in the zoology, same scheme is in the botany, okay? So total of 180, 180, 180, 180 and it will be 720 marks. Now listen to me very carefully. Now the first question is, where to start from? Which subject you guys are supposed to focus on first? Let me just tell you. There are different number of students out there who are stronger at different subjects. Like if I say one of my students was extremely strong in physics, to that student, I recommend him to go with the physics first. But, 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 if he is extremely strong at physics, okay, rest of the subjects, if it is weak, then I request him to go with the physics first. If there is a student, he is extremely strong at, we say, chemistry, then I request him to go with the chemistry first and then he can do the rest of the two subjects which he is kind of weak in, okay? Now, if I say maximum number of students are good at biology or we say 80 to 90 percent students are good at bio or we say 80 to 90 percent students are out there who are equally strong at all the three subjects. In that particular case, let me tell you, you should start with biology, okay? So in maximum number of students, I would say in that case, you have to start with the biology portion, okay? Because, because when it comes to the biology, you would be able to score more in less time. You just have to take, okay, that's it, okay? If you remember the, we say, we say theory, if you remember the concepts over there, you just have to mark the tick, you don't have to solo the paper like in the calculations will be over there. So if you score good in, uh, we say in the first, first uh, part, if you score uh, good in very less amount of time, it will decrease your anxiety level. It will decrease your depression level at that point of time. And if that result, that, uh, that will be resulting in, you'll score good in the next two subjects also, if you score good first, okay? Then when it comes to the first round, we will go with the biology first, that is the section A. First, we will basically solo the biology section A and then we will basically solo the biology section B. We'll be first completing the whole biology and then when it comes to the chemistry, we usually say that portion A is comparatively very easy when it comes to the section B of the subject, okay? So we will first go with the, after, once we are done with the biology section A, section B, then we will move on to the chemistry section A. It is comparatively easy as compared to the section B. And similarly, we will move on to the physics section A, okay? Then afterwards, we'll have to go with the chemistry section B because it is comparatively difficult as compared to the section A. And then we will move on to the section B of physics, which is difficult 
than all the previous sections over here okay so this should be our strategy in that particular case now listen to me very carefully listen to me very carefully i say avoid the tests in last two days okay now already last two days are gone okay so i request you today also do not give any sort of test because if sometimes what happens is that there are a lot of students out there so uh, we say if they get Previously, they used to get very good marks in their tests, in their mock tests. But at the end day, if somehow they get less marks in their tests, they start anxiety level will increase. Depression level will increase. That will result, that will show the results in the examination hall. Tomorrow, you would be able to score good in the examination hall because of that. That's the reason we say avoid the tests in the last two days. So today, if any you have any uh, test planning, I request you to not to give that particular test. Okay. Now, maintaining the pressure, we say you have to maintain this particular pressure, okay? You don't have to be overexcited that I know everything. I can solve every single question over there in the examination hall. That will result you in, we say, if you get overconfident and that can result, lead to the negative results over there, okay? And, and, and if you basically start depressing right now, it is because of the exams, I have depression. If, if, uh, Tomorrow, I don't get the good results. What's going to happen? What my parents say? You don't have to focus on that. Okay. Right now, you have to focus on only you, you have to give your best. Okay. That's that should be that thought should be in your mind that tomorrow is my exam. I have to give my best and I have to crack this particular, particular exam. Okay. That's very much important. Okay. Like over here, when you leave for the exam, don't think whether I have studied less or more. Don't think about that. Think about, I have to give this exam, I have to give my best, that's it. Whatever you have studied, that's gone now, okay? So just focus on your exam right now, so that will maintain your pressure, okay? And do not read the whole question paper in the starting. This is, this is very much mandatory, okay? So we say, if you keep on reading the whole question paper, that will create chaos in your mind. Just if you are starting with a biology section A, take a look at the section A and then start solving the section A. That's it. Because this has happened with a lot of students out there many times with many of my students. That's the reason I'm telling you these points. They keep on reading the entire paper. Like, like if I read the entire paper, I see there is a question. In, there are so many questions in physics which I am not able to solve. Now anxiety level has increased. I am not able to solve this question, that question, that question. Now, how will I solve this entire paper? I will not get enough marks. That is the reason I'm saying you not to read the question, whole question paper. First, read that section only which you are supposed to solve. That is, we say, sir, uh, biology section A. Okay. Okay. And, and start directly with your favorite subject, which I told you before. Okay. Okay. And don't stick to a question for too long. If you think that question is taking me the maximum time, see, in your NEET exam, the question which you have, that is, NTA has basically made that question in such a way that you would be able, you should be able to solve that in 40 seconds. Okay. And rest of the 20 seconds, you should, that, that is given to in filling the OMR and all. So we say, if it is taking longer time, I request you to leave that question immediately. Because if you waste a question, because what happens sometimes is, there are so many students out there who say, who, 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 who become egoistic at that point of time. Who say, no, I have to solve this question. I used to solve this question. I have solved this 100 times before in my, in my classroom. Why am I not able to solve this particular question at this point of time? So in, uh, that, should be, that should not happen with you. I request you to leave that question immediately because that will increase the anxiety level which results in the negative results over there. Okay, So you won't be able to solve any question if, afterwards even if that is easy. Okay, and don't fill the OMR until you don't cross check the answers. You have to cross check the answer very properly because I'll tell you the example of one of my students previously. He was in offline. Every he, he, he was done with every single question. Okay, every single question he was done with. Okay, he was the topper of the institution. But what happens is that last he solved the entire paper. He used to, he was getting I would say seven hundred plus. But what he did is that. He basically filled the OMR at the end. Once solved the entire paper, then he started filling the OMR. That is the biggest mistake students make. Because even if you make a single error in the OMR in that particular case, 100% all of the questions will be wrong. All of the questions you can make the error in all of the uh, next questions, okay? So that's the reason I say, I say do not fill the OMR all together. Okay, do not fill the OMR for all the questions once. Okay, so we say, we say, we say here also, cross check the answers very properly, very properly. And right over, like over here it is mentioned, do not fill the OMR at the end. Okay, okay, okay. 
And if you don't know the answer or fail to recall, just move on. If let's suppose what happens sometimes in biology, you fail to answer, you fail to recall the particular question. I say, leave that question. Let's see it later on. Okay. So once you are done with the entire paper, afterwards you come on to those particular questions which you were not able to solve. Give the time to those questions. Okay. And don't get depressed if you, if you, if you, if you get negative in some sections. Okay. Like sometimes what happens is that you were not able to solve this question and you got the negative marks. You got the negative marks. Keep that thing in your mind that if I'm getting negative marks in this section, I will get positive in that section because that section is also my stronger section. I have the capability that I can score much better than this in the next section. So I say do not get depressed at all. Uh, if you get negative marks in some section, okay? So thank you so much guys. This was all about it. These were the main and important points which you guys need to keep in your mind so that you basically score very good tomorrow in the exam, okay? All the best, all the best, very, very, very best. We have given 100% on this channel. I hope you like that. I would want your comments in the comment section down below, okay? So we have given, a, given our 100% tell you a need preparation. So tomorrow, we want you guys to write in the comments, yes, sir, I cracked the need, I became the doctor. Okay, so thank you so much guys. Hope you like this particular session. Take care and bye-bye.